Hello everyone, this is Paul from SpanishWithPaul.com and welcome to today's lesson. What we're going to do is look at how to express that you left something somewhere in Spanish. Now this will be some kind of physical object, such as your keys or your wallet, your handbag or your jacket. So I'm going to show you the correct verb to use and how to do it in the past and the future. I'll also give you plenty of practice questions and a drill at the end so that you'll really, really get it. That's all coming up next. If becoming fluent in conversational Spanish is one of your goals for this year, then consider clicking the link above to download my free course books that go along with all of my YouTube lessons. You can also subscribe to my channel to get a brand new Spanish lesson from me every single Monday. So with that out of the way, let's get started. I'd like to begin by highlighting a difference between English and Spanish. So let's look at the following two phrases. We have, I left work early and I left the book on the table. Now you can see that in English, we use the verb to leave for both of those examples. But this is something that you cannot do in Spanish. Spanish will use two separate verbs to express these ideas. In the second sentence, what we have is the placement of a physical object, namely that you left the book on the table. Now, in these types of instances, Spanish will go with the verb dejar. Let's start with I left. So this is in the past and it means that you left something somewhere. To express I left will be deje. If you say deje and do not pay attention to this accent point, you probably will not be understood. You must stress this ending, deje. Now an example of something that you could leave would be your, your keys. The word for keys in Spanish is llaves. Notice the strong Y sound here, llaves. And to say my keys would be mis llaves. So to express then, I left my keys would be dejé mis llaves. On the table would be en la mesa. Depending on which Spanish speaking country you're in, you might hear a stronger S sound for here, such as mesa. However, where I live, it's more of a Z sound, mesa. How would you say, I left my keys on the table? Dejé mis llaves en la mesa. To express on the shelf, you have a couple of options. For the word shelf, you can use la repisa, which is what I hear where I live, or in places such as Spain, you might hear more frequently el estante. So either of these two will be understood. Because this is what I frequently hear, I'm going to stay with this one for this lesson, la repisa. How would you say, I left my keys on the shelf? Dejé mis llaves en la repisa. Something that we learned from the mini course series was I think or I think that. How would you say it? Creo que. Now say, I think I left my keys on the table. Creo que dejé mis llaves en la mesa. What about, I think I left my keys on the shelf? Creo que Dejé mis llaves en la repisa. In Spanish, we also have a few different options for the word jacket. Again, the one I tend to hear around where I live is jaqueta. So, my jacket would be mi jaqueta. And the word for the sofa would be el sofá. Notice that it ends in an A, but it's a masculine word, el sofá. Again, hitting the ending. How would you say, I think I left my jacket on the sofa? Creo que 
creo que dejé mi chaqueta en el sofá. The phrase do you know can be expressed with just one word in Spanish. Sabes. And the word for where is donde. You'll also hear a donde. So either way will work and is correct. Now, what we want to express is questions where we have, do you know where something is? So this entire phrase, do you know where, in Spanish is, sabes donde? Again, you'll also hear, sabes a donde? Either way. So let's use it. How would you say, do you know where I left my keys? ¿Sabes dónde dejé mis llaves? What about, do you know where I left my jacket? ¿Sabes dónde dejé mi jaqueta? Remember, you can also say, ¿Sabes a dónde dejé mi jaqueta? So far, we've been working with dejé, meaning I left. But I'd also like to include now you left. Again, this is talking about a physical object. The sound in Spanish is dejaste. Dejaste. So if we had a sentence like you left your keys on the table, the word for keys will stay the same, llaves, but your keys will be tus llaves. Now, how would you say that you left your keys on the table? Dejaste tus llaves en la mesa. Do you remember the options we had for the shelf? La repisa or el estante. How would you say you left your keys on the shelf? Dejaste tus llaves en la repisa or en el estante. What about, I think you left your keys on the shelf. Creo que dejaste tus llaves en la repisa. How do you say the sofa? El sofá. Now say, I think you left your jacket on the sofa. Creo que dejaste tu jaqueta en el sofá. One of the words that you'll hear for wallet in Spanish is cartera. How would you ask, where did I leave my wallet? ¿Dónde dejé mi cartera? You left your wallet on the table. ¿Dejaste tu cartera en la mesa? The word for handbag is often simply referred to as bag, which is bolsa. How would you ask, where did I leave my handbag? ¿Dónde dejé mi bolsa? Remember, you could also hear or say, ¿A dónde dejé mi bolsa? Now say, you left your handbag on the sofa. ¿Dejaste tu bolsa en el sofá? What about, you left your handbag on the shelf? Dejaste tu bolsa en la repisa o en el estante. To express, I don't know where, could be either no sé dónde o no sé a dónde. Let's include this a for all the following examples. First off, how would you say, I don't know where I left my wallet?
No sé a dónde dejé mi cartera. What about I don't know where you left your wallet? No sé a dónde dejaste tu cartera. I know where I left my keys. Sé a dónde dejé mis llaves. I don't know where you left your keys. No sé a dónde dejaste tus llaves. I left my keys on the table. Dejé mis llaves en la mesa. Up until now, we've been working a lot with the past. So we have, I left, dejé, and you left, dejaste. But it's also very easy to express the future. In other words, I'm going to leave. First of all, how do you say I'm going to? Boya. And do you remember the full verb, the infinitive, for this idea of leaving a physical object somewhere? Dejar. Now, to express, I'm going to leave my jacket on the sofa. This would be, voy a dejar mi jaqueta en el sofá. Here we have, I'm going to, followed by the full verb, dejar. Again, this is applying to a physical object, the placement of a physical object, jacket on the sofa. So, voy a dejar mi jaqueta en el sofá. How would you say, I'm going to leave my keys on the shelf? Voy a dejar mis llaves en la repisa. Or el estante. I'm going to leave my wallet on the table. Voy a dejar mi cartera en la mesa. To express you're going to or are you going to is the same in Spanish. It's basa. Notice the strong B sound here. Basa. What's the word for here? Aquí. So how would you ask? Are you going to leave your keys here? ¿Vas a dejar tus llaves aquí? Are you going to leave your handbag here on the table? ¿Vas a dejar tu bolsa aquí en la mesa? Where are you going to leave your wallet? ¿Dónde vas a dejar tu cartera? Or, ¿a dónde vas a dejar tu cartera? Let's try one more. Are you going to leave your jacket here? ¿Vas a dejar tu jaqueta aquí? Let's run a drill now, where we'll mix and match the past and the future together. Wherever we come across the word where in English, I would like you to use a donde in your Spanish translation. Here's the first one for you. Where did you leave your wallet? ¿A dónde dejaste tu cartera? Do you know where I left my keys? ¿Sabes a dónde dejé mis llaves? Are you going to leave your handbag here on the table? ¿Vas a dejar tu bolsa aquí en la mesa? Do you know where you left your jacket? ¿Sabes a dónde dejaste tu jaqueta? I think I left my keys at home. 
To express at home, you will use en casa. Creo que dejé mis llaves en casa. I don't know where I left my wallet. No sé a dónde dejé mi cartera. Where did you leave my keys? ¿A dónde dejaste mis llaves? I left your keys on the shelf. Dejé tus llaves en la repisa. I think I left my wallet at home. Creo que dejé mi cartera en casa. I think you left your handbag on the sofa. Creo que dejaste tu bolsa en el sofá. If you're serious about learning Spanish and want to become conversationally fluent, my main course, Spanish with Paul, is live and available for you now. Inside you'll get my complete course, none of which is available on YouTube, and also my personal attention to make sure you achieve conversational fluency in the fastest time possible. In short, if you like my free lessons on YouTube and the results they're giving you, then you'll love what I have for you inside the main course. You can click the link on the screen now to find out all the details. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Music